Hello. Hi. 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 Potato. Anyway, so this is the world's cheapest delicious recipe in the planet. We started with 21 ounces of potatoes, and uh, half the batch was from a couple weeks ago when I bought five pounds for 88 cents, and then the second half is um, when I got five pounds for $1.50 the other day, but I just kind of did the math on $1.50. Yeah. So I boiled them, and then I mashed them, and then I put what I would consider Indian spices that I enjoy, and then I fried them and ate them. So this is vegan, except I think the breadcrumbs we use has dairy in addition to MSG, which is vegan. MSG is vegan. Um, and a lot of weird fucking ingredients, but tastes amazing and was hella cheap. So, what'd you think? It was excellent. Like, for real, or is that like... Bees knees. Bees knees? Holy shit. (laughs) Um, like, would you want this, like, right now? Yeah. You would? So each plate, so in the main picture, there's two plates. Each plate was 68 cents, which is essentially saying a little patty is like 20 cents, 20, 23 cents a patty. I did make a uh, chutney for the video, but I fucked it up. It's still totally edible, but I didn't want to show you the wrong way. So I ate it with chutney and I made it with t- chutney, but you're not going to find out about that until maybe a future video. Oh, it's cool. Tell us more. All right. Don't appreciate that. Um, peas. I like peas and potatoes. Even without Indian spices, I like that, uh, that texture thing. So there's something that I learned. Uh, one, I didn't need that much. Dude, I never make things into patties um but i actually have a veggie burger i'm gonna make maybe tomorrow that will be me making things into patties however these did not hold up at all so even though they look solid they're not solid like you're gonna have to bust out like a utensils on a plate like don't act like that's a cocktail cup and you're like walking around a party like slinging some sort of potato patty with your two fingers because that's totally not going to work like you're smoking a samosa patty you can't do that that shit will fall apart so what am i getting at um maybe flour inside there would hold it together eggs would hold it together we don't really do the egg thing so i was like i don't care i'll just follow the recipe which i will link below so the first batch um i can only fit two in a skillet comfortably emotionally comfortably um and two tablespoons was too much. I didn't see the benefit of that. It seems like one tablespoon per batch. So if you could fit in like 50 in there, you'd still need one tablespoon. And if you fit two in there, you also just need one tablespoon. Um, And so this was the first batch. No, wait, is this the last batch? Okay, the first batch I had to refry. I don't know why, it's like making pancakes. The last one always comes out better, but Um, these were really good, and chutney really, really was a good idea with this. So, I don't know. Go and make this. (laughs) Dude, that looks so good. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, go make this, and peace the fuck out. Peace the fuck out.